Aloha! My name is Allison Teal, and I live in an off-the-grid grass shack in Hawaii. Hello? Hello? Growing up, I loved learning healthy cooking from my wise naturalist mother. Voila! The food waste is dumped in our compost bins, and a few months later, it becomes fertilizer. I wanted to share the importance of composting with the world, so I set off to Hollywood to team up with some pretty smart celebrities and share the message with the Compost Story film by Kiss the Ground. What can help save our future? Properly made compost. Today, I was super excited to visit a compost facility in Los Angeles and show you how you can easily compost inside your house. Mommy! Aloha, this is Allison Teal. I'm here in Los Angeles at a composting facility and I'm gonna show you how you can make a worm bin composting tub and you can use this in any indoor apartment in the world. First, get your local newspaper and shred it into one inch strips. You wanna cover the bottom of the bin. So you might say, why newspaper? Well, in nature we have leaves, but we have to find some way indoors to keep the carbon and nitrogen balance. Now that you have a lining of newspaper, you're gonna cover it with any soil or compost. Don't panic, it's organic. Worms love moist, dark places, so we need to add water to our mixture. So you should actually use a spray bottle, but I don't have one right now. This is called the finger flick. You just don't want to drown the worms. Use a half mason jar for this bin. After you add the moisture, put the lid on and let it sit in a dark place for two days. Worms. So here's our pound of worms. Just gonna pour them in the compost that's been sitting for two days. These worms are gonna eat up our compost and their poop is really nutritious for the earth. You might be wondering, where do I get worms? You can actually go to Google and put in order worms. You need the red wigglers and get about a pound of them. Be nice to them. This is the amount you wanna compost initially and then watch and as they start eating it, you can add more. You don't wanna overwhelm the wormies. Break it up, break it down. Get in there and just get into it. Rawr! Carrots, banana peels, avocado, coffee grounds. So this much will take about a week to decompose and then it'll start moving faster as the worms get into their thing. The only thing that you cannot put in this bin is meat, dairy, or anything cooked with oils. Now you're gonna cover your compost, but it's important that it stays aerated. So you're gonna take the lid and poke at least five holes in the top. Get something sharp and just five holes. Cover it up and put it in a dark place. It needs oxygen, it has to be aerated during the time that it's decomposing. This is gonna take about four months before you'll have usable compost. After four to five months, when you wanna start harvesting your compost, you can still continue composting by putting all your scraps on this side the worms migrate over to eat it, and then you can use this as fertilizer for your food gardens, your potted plants, your flower gardens, and it's very, very nutrient compost. Get your food in that compost bin, and let's help the planet be more nutrient today. Okay, so what can you do? Do all you can to support composting. If we're to keep the planet habitable, human beings must participate in regeneration. Each of us can play a role to help regenerate our planet simply by composting. The cycle of this can make or break us. You choose.